Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Wait, sorry, what's this video called? What, what do you mean eject? It's not a CD, you just yank it out, right? Well, you can do that, but in this case, eject doesn't mean this. It means to tell your operating system to wrap up whatever it's doing with the USB drive to prepare it for yanking out. So think of it as partially disconnecting the drive. It's still physically plugged in, but your computer can't really talk to it anymore. But hold on a second, we didn't have to do anything fancy when we physically ejected CD-ROMs back in the prehistoric 1990s. So why is there this general conception that ejecting your flash drives is a good idea? Well, the most obvious benefit of ejecting your device first is that it prevents your data from being corrupted if your system is busy writing something to the drive. If you pull your media out before your computer has finished working with it, you might come back later to find that the graduate thesis that you wanted to store on it is now totally unreadable, causing you to flunk out of your graduate program, get dumped by your girlfriend, and ultimately end up living in a box behind Tim Hortons. True story, happened to a friend of mine. So yeah, it might seem pretty obvious that you don't want to rip out a thumb drive during a file save operation any more than you would take out a Hot Pocket for consumption after only one minute in the microwave, but what if you've safely closed whatever it is that you're working on and you just wanna grab the drive and get on with your day? This is where things get a little bit gray because it partly depends on what operating system you're using and whether you fiddled with a certain setting. You see, Windows offers a feature called write caching for removable devices that's designed to improve speed. With it turned on, any data that you try to transfer to your flash drive is held in a cache in your system memory. So instead of forcing a program to wait around for the data transfer to finish, Windows will instead wait for a more opportune time to do multiple data transfers at once. The downside of this speed boost is that it leaves your USB drives much more susceptible to corruption if you, be it accidentally or on purpose, pull them out without ejecting them first, as your PC might show that it's finished copying the data, but it might not actually be done. Ejecting the drive will command your computer to go ahead and flush anything in the right cache to your drive immediately, and it will prompt you when you can actually safely remove it. The good news is that write caching offers a negligible performance boost in most situations, so in the event that it's not already disabled, you can go ahead and turn it off here. On Linux and Mac OS, it is typically enabled by default though, so make sure that you eject your drives before removing them if you haven't given your soul to Cortana. So then, back to the original question. Yeah, that one. If you're using Windows and have write caching turned off, is it okay to just remove your thumb drive without ejecting it? Assuming, obviously, that you're not in the middle of saving something to it. The answer is a definite probably. However, there is the possibility that your OS could still be writing small amounts of data in the background, depending on exactly how your programs deal with saved files. And I have personally experienced previously working drives ending up with corrupted data on them that I wasn't even using by doing this. So while the average Windows user probably doesn't have too much to worry about, it is also probably worth taking the extra two seconds to click eject. If you can't figure out what to do while you wait, just try closing your eyes and picturing a CD tray sliding out for a little bit of computing nostalgia. Thanks to the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. So to meet the needs of these enterprising individuals, FreshBooks created their cloud accounting solution designed for the way that you work. It's the simplest, easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and perhaps most importantly, get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can see when your client has seen the invoice to put an end to the guessing games. You can 
set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster, and you can take the whole FreshBooks experience with you, whether you're a Mac or a PC. Well, that's, well, it's not really a Mac, it's an Apple. It's not really a PC, it's an Android. You know what, don't worry about it. Anyway, the point is, you can take all the functionality with you on the go. And FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. So check it out at freshbooks.com slash techquickie. Just remember to enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked, hit that button. Otherwise you can like, subscribe, check out uh, our other channels, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible video and um, subscribe, said that already, but that's okay. You can do it twice.